a full-size replica of a Tokyo house in a London gallery. It's a maze of rooms, a checkerboard of spaces, with no clear front door or traditional layout. The contemporary design is minimalist to a fault. The detail is meticulous, but many may ask what's so unique about Japanese houses to warrant an exhibition spanning 70 years. In fact, the house holds a special place in Japanese culture. The country was devastated by World War II. House after house was flattened. Japan has to face a massive um, issue of reconstructing the country and the loss of the war, losing faith in their identity. So the house, uh, the domestic house, which is a very intimate thing, was also reflecting the very deep concerns of what the country was facing at the time. Architects in the post-war building boom wanted to move forward, embracing modernism, reinventing a nation that had lost face. But they also wanted to hold on to some elements, preserving traditions like natural materials and neutral colors. The average lifespan of a house in Japan is 25 years. Buildings are constantly knocked down, redesigned, improved upon. Earthquakes are also a significant consideration, adding to the transient nature of the house. Current Japanese residential architecture plays with ingenious solutions to cope with the constraints of living in a giant metropolis. Roy Nishizawa designed the house. He's won a Pritzker Prize, architecture's Nobel equivalent. Not only design house, but also think about house. That's really one of the most fun things around the house. It's fun to design. The leading contemporary architects in the West spend their time designing skyscrapers, museums, big ticket landmarks. But in Japan, the best architects there also focus on the house and consider ways to make the space a nice place to live. Seeing how the Japanese over the years have designed innovative houses in tiny spots may give a European audience some ideas about making their own living spaces more inspiring. Jessica Baldwin, Al Jazeera, London.